Hi, I'm Rob Zip, and I am at PNC Stadium. I was just pre-gaming with the Surge, but I'm actually not going to the game. They're going to go see, what's the score going to be, Kyle? 24-0 uh, Dynamo. 24 nothing Dynamo. Dynamo are taking on Seattle Sounders. Guys, hold it down to Frankstown tonight, guys. We'll miss you, Rob. You're the best. So I, I just came to hang out with these guys, but now I'm going to where this show is going to be at the 713 Music Hall to see Danzig. So I can't make all the games. I was able to trade my ticket in for an extra ticket for a later game. Uh, we'll get the score updates. So sorry I won't be vlogging this, but I'm going to make it up to you by going to Kansas City next Wednesday and vlogging the U.S. Open Cup match between the Houston Dynamo FC and Sporting Kansas City. So that's next week. This video is all about Danzig. So I'm going to make my way over the 703 Music Hall now. Come along and join me on this episode of The Most Epic Adventures! Here I am at Market Square Park. I moved my car, I was parked in front of Minute Maid Park. Found another spot at a meter. Meters are free after six, Monday through Saturday and free on Sunday. There's Barnaby's Cafe. I made a video there before an Astros game last year with my parents. So let's walk over there. Walking by a Texas Historical Commission marker. Magnolia Brewery building. This is Houston's original brewery. You see the Magnolia, the sun, of course. I'm pointing the camera right at the sun. So the Magnolia tree there. I think it's open as a uh, National Register of Historic Places. Houston Brewing Association, Magnolia Brewery. It's not an actual brewery now. It's a it's a hall. You can run out. Here is Buffalo Bayou. This is the waterway that the city was founded on. Just right, right over there is Allen's Landing. Some canoe launches and stuff. You see some bikers down there enjoying the, the paved pathways. Doesn't look too bad. I mean, there's a park down there. I, I remember when this was just all trash. They dredge it every so often. I tried to get magnet fishing here and didn't catch anything. I actually lost my magnet on the bridge. It's all metal. So I wonder if it's still there. I don't know. I made a video about that. Nobody watched it. Nobody. It's got, seriously, when I say nobody, it's got like 30 views. Crazy. Welcome to downtown Houston. Here we are at Post. You can see the old post office building there and the 713 Music Hall. This is this right here. This is my first time visiting the music hall, not my first time at Post. I'll, uh, I'll link that video when I came to the Post at the end here. I know some of the stuff is already closed down. Didn't quite make it. It's kind of a hard sell. It's like a bougie food court and mall, and there's just not a whole lot of call for it. So parking. It's $5 an hour, it says. I know, my friend was telling me it was 40 bucks. Either way, I paid nothing. Parked, parked in a meter for free. So, so. <sighs> Beautiful sunset here. They've got the sky lawn on top. Maybe I'll go up there later tonight after the concert show you what that looks like at night see if they change anything actually I have I've been up there already at night I know what it looks like see if it's changed any see if the mall's still gonna be open there we go it's May 18th Danzig I don't know these other artists this is my first time here actually I want to thank Jeff for getting me the tickets he hooked me up and he got them from Brash Brewing Company. So thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Brash. Not sponsors, but sort of sponsors, I guess. I'll say Jeff is my sponsor. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do anything here. There's the Danzig merch t 
t-shirts are 40 bucks. You got the hoodie for 70, ladies crop top for 40. You got hats, you got bandanas. You got some records, some, some patches down here. Crowbot, crowbot hat, cradle of filth hat. So we can get a little get a little closer over here. So we're getting some patches there. There you go. Alright, well this is the entrance. We've got this bar over here. Nice. Pay for upgrades. All right, these are the rules. No photos or videos during the show, so I will not be able to video in there. But there you go. We got strobe lights and all kinds of stuff. Sorry, guys. All right, Cro Crowbot just played. Uh, caught the end of them. So I can show you this venue a little bit. They've got this bar back here. They've got a bar to the side over here. We've got another bar over here. We've got, I think it's a synthetic wood, but it's it's comfortable, it's comfortable. And then they've got these, these upper levels with tables up here, this, you know, second and third level on both sides. And then behind they've got like a uh, theater seating, which would be cool. But I think these were even more expensive than being down here on the floor. Again, I didn't pay anything for these tickets. The stage is nice and big. So uh, yeah, we missed the end of Crowbot. Next is Cradle of Filth. Again, there's no filming during the show. I just kind of wanted to show you guys what the venue looks like. I definitely do not want to get kicked out of here. Maybe we'll go out to the uh, smoking section and see somebody we know. Cliff, what's up? Good to run into you, buddy. Uh, so you saw you saw Crowbots, right? Did they already play? No, I just. I just oh, you just got here, so you missed them. Yeah. yeah. So you're just gonna get some Cradle of Filth and some Danzig, the Man Danzig. Yeah, Danzig's who I'm who I'm here for. I actually like. I saw he was going on at like 9:50, 9:45. I was thinking about showing up then, but I was like, eh. I'll show. I might as well show up now. I'll get a parking yeah, spot. I figure probably a lot of people just see Cradle. They've never been my thing, but I don't know. You get here too late, then there's too many people. It's hard to get right. a spot. So, when's the last time you saw the man, Danzig? Uh, shit. Probably before COVID when I saw the Misfits in Denver. In Denver. Was yeah. it? So, that Riot Fest is in Chicago. Yeah, I didn't go to Riot Fest. This was just one of the reunion shows. Right on. That was in 2018. Yeah. It's been a while. Yeah, I know. I saw I saw the, the original Misfits yeah. in Chicago, not Riot Fest, but it was at the Allstate Arena in Chicago. Um, it was fucking killer, man. Yeah, they were they were great. So, too. so that's been three years since I've seen Danzig, and he was just doing Misfit songs. He's doing Danzig songs here. Yeah. You know, a few songs. I think one song from. Uh, Black Laden Crown, Eyes Ripping Fire, I saw Yeah, 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 yeah. Skin I think it's starting off with... Is it Skin, 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 skin Carver? Skin Carver. It's been his opening song now for like... Yeah. Since, since that album came out, I think. Right, right. 2002, 2000... No, 2004, 2005. Well, I've seen... I saw Danzig in... What was it? 90, 95 or whatever? With Typo Negative? That would have been a great show. It was phenomenal. I got to see Typo in '99, but that was the, that was the first time I got to see him. So. I only got At to least see I him. got to see him. I only got to see him the one time. Yeah, with Danzig. But they were so I've only seen Danzig. Danzig. I saw them. I saw Danzig in the '90s. I saw him uh, in 1999 or 20, 2019, and I'm seeing him tonight. So it's. And I'm glad you're here with me, man. Yes. He's sounding better than ever. He sounded great with the with the Misfits. When I yeah. Saw him. I know prior to that he, he had had some. He always called it a death bug. But uh, he's been sounding great. I've seen a lot of the videos from this tour, so I'm excited. How have you seen videos? We can't video. Right, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what I see him on the on the dark web. Right? On the dark web, yeah. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. I don't want to get you kicked out. You gotta be out. ready on YouTube right after the show to watch it. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Well, it was nice to run into you, Cliff. Yes, sir. All right. So I inquired about getting. Uh, a seat up 
up there. So, so, so Cliff, basically it's a $69 upgrade fee to buy one of them. That's the full price of the ticket. That's a, yeah, exactly. He said because it was a comp ticket, I would basically have to buy another ticket to go up there. I was like, I got three of them. Come on. <laughs> So. Yeah, like three times zero is zero, motherfucker. Yeah, whatever. I don't know. Or oh, that's a comic book. Those are his comics, yeah. But it says that like 25 bucks and that's why that's, that's his new movie. Oh! They actually have... That might be worth buying. De <laughs> Death Rider in the House of Van... I didn't realize that. Was it 20 bucks? 25 bucks. Is it autographed? It should be autographed. I'm going to buy it. I'm gonna buy it. I have a million t-shirts. I love, I love these Danzig shirts. That's for this tour. Yeah. Those are sweet. I gotta buy the DVD. She can't buy it anywhere. I met Simon before. She got Houston musicians on stamps. Ghetto Boys, ZZ Top. That was Beyonce back there. I love it. That's uh. DJ Screw, I think. I don't know who that is. I'm not sure. Tell me in the comments who that is. It's Megan, Megan V. Stallion, Kenny Rogers, and yeah, I'm not sure who that is either. But this used to be part of the post office, so famous Houston musicians. I, help me out, people. I'm not quite sure who that is. Kenny Rogers. Megan V. Stallion, I don't know. Is that Patsy Klein? She's not from Houston. I don't know. I think that's I think that's uh, DJ Screw. I think that's DJ Screw. I love it. ZZ Top, The Ghetto Boys, and Beyonce. Cradle of Filth is playing. Dave bought a shirt. This is dedicated to the pit. It is gonna open all the way to Milwaukee. This is entitled Crawling King. So the lights are up a little bit. Let's see the venue a little bit better right now. Danzig is not on the stage quite yet. See that upper upper deck area up there. A lot of empty seats there. Pay like extra to get these upgrades. The crowd is rolling in. All right, so they are being very strict. They made another announcement about no cell phones during Danzig's set. So I will not, I'm not gonna bring out the cell phone, but I will let you know what I think about their, this show. I'm gonna put the phone away now. Uh, also, I didn't show you, I had a pretzel. They had some food here. Uh, it wasn't great, but it was a big pretzel. And I had some liquid death water, asked for water, and they poured the can into a cup. Prices weren't out of control. I asked for a sandwich and they were out of the sandwiches, so it was okay. I was, it, it, this pretzel was big enough to share. All right, well, now I'm putting the phone away. I'll let you know what I think of the show when I leave. So they've got this backdrop with a couple of LED lights here. So Danzig was fucking amazing. Played all the classics except for Dirty Black Wings. I wish he played that, but he played everything else you can imagine from one through four, plus skin crawler. So, oh, there's a line. People are waiting. Are, are you in control of these lights? No? Okay. People want a picture with this backdrop. I'm just putting the backdrop here because there's there's lights. But Danzig is playing in Austin tomorrow, and that's the end of the tour. If you didn't get this tour, you may not see him on tour again. He's only going to do some one-off shows after this, according to him. So I'm so thankful to my friend Jeff. He went to Brash Brewery, and I'm thankful to Brash Brewery for having these tickets available. So until next time, remember to drink water, listen to metal, enjoy nature, and have the most epic adventures!
everybody's making their way out in an orderly fashion. People hitting up the merch stands. They didn't want to hold on to the merch and lose it, which is smart. Go to the merch stand at the end of the night. A lot of happy metal fans here in Houston tonight. Really nice venue. Everybody's streaming out. <laughs> <laughs> 